Hey guys, so I started this little project because Habri's bed broke. So I decided to get her a new bed. And the next thing I knew, I ended up getting a few more things and now I'm in full on project mode. So I'm gonna try something today with this desk that I found on the side of the road. And what I'm gonna do is an acrylic swirl on the top. I've never done this before. I don't think I have all the right ingredients. I'm supposed to have something called Floetrol, which I couldn't find in my local hardware store. But uh, I'm impatient, so I decided I'm gonna use dish soap instead. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna mix some acrylic paints up with water and some dish soap and uh, hopefully create some kind of funky little piece of art for her room for a desk. So wish me luck. I'm going to need it. And I don't have Alexis here with me today because she's busy actually making money for her work. The nerve. You know she's always here in spirit. So here are the colors that I'm going to use. I've got some green and white, some beautiful blue, orange, some purple, which is the color that I just added to Habri's room. So it's the purple and the green that are on her walls right now. And then uh, I've got these other little acrylic paints like the yellow, this other green, and a silver. So I'm going to now pour all these things into separate cups, add a little bit of water and dish soap to hopefully make this a little bit more malleable and slippery so that when I roll around, it's doing what it's supposed to. And I do have the desk on quite an angle right now. It's a slope on my lawn. But I think it's going to be okay because the whole idea is that I'm going to do a swirl anyway. So if it kind of falls to one side or the other, it's going to be perfect. It will be the mistakes in art that make them beautiful. What would a Joe Lex production be without mistakes? And speaking of mistakes, I just walked into my little lawn light and that's the effect of it. that I mixed in together and theoretically this is going to work out really well so I'm going to go ahead and put in a little bit of paint from each of these or maybe a lot we'll see pour that in there there's my white then we're going to do the orange that's going to all mix together and make brown and then we're going to do no and silver and yellow And of course the purple. It's not just gonna be brown. And I'm gonna have no, it's not gonna be brown, Devin. It's not gonna be brown. Have faith. So now I'm gonna go ahead with this purple. Let's hope I haven't made it too thin. I'm a little worried. We'll see. We're gonna swirl, we're gonna swirl. Does it look brown to you? No, oh, it's nice. See that guy? Come on, friend. So sorry. Should I come out from this side? Oh, 
that was almost pretty bad. This is what it looks like right now. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take one of my pencils and I'm just gonna kinda, you know, see what happens if I spread some things out a bit. Give it the tiniest bit of a swirl now, then I'm gonna let it sit and see how it decides to dry itself. Okay, sometimes I take things too far, so I have to really learn my own boundaries and learn when to call it quits. Calling it! Okay, so as you can see, kinda jerked a bit. Um, I'm not super worried about it because I'm gonna paint the bottom uh, all white anyway. It's got a bit of a primer on it already from whoever was person who lovingly donated it to the roadside, but I am going to wipe off some of this excess paint to make it a little easier. Okay, that's good enough for me. Alright, and since I have some of that extra lovely white paint in my tray from doing the drawer, I figured I guess I'll get it onto this desk. I'm not super concerned about how beautiful this is. Honestly, more concerned about getting it done before she gets home from school. So, this is my motivation. Yeah, that paint's kind of bubbling through a bit, but we're gonna move on. dry a little bit and uh, I think I'll go put the mirror on and when I come back I'm going to do a second coat. I might need help with the mirror. Let's see if I can find some. Okay so Avery's got some of these cool little crystals and amethyst rocky type things and uh, given my propensity to take things a little too far I'm thinking I'm gonna put some of these on the surface of the table. Maybe just around the outside but let's see what happens. What I've done, I'm gonna do nicer than I thought. So maybe this guy could come out a bit. Sorry about the light and the angle of the camera. But I think you get the general idea. One more thing I did, I speckled a bit of that bright green on there and I think it's kind of making it pop a bit more and it should sort of if you look at them they start to spread out so neatly we'll see how it dries to get the table up into the room it's all nicely whitely painted at the bottom and at the front and the white is dry but the top sure is not so it is still drying with the assistance of a fan at the moment and I'm hoping it's dry enough tonight that I can get a, uh, a clear top coat on it. We'll see. Did you, did you just 
Snort. <laughs>